The stem cell review is presented by Celgene Cellular Therapeutics. Uh, these are adult stem cells that are present in many organs and tissues of our body that have been investigated for many years now for their capability to regenerate organs and tissues. So during normal life, basicamal stem cells are actually the, uh, uh, the drivers of the repair and maintenance of our tissues. The interest today for regenerative medicine is to isolate these cells and to add them to the body to supplement the pool of, uh, of already existing adult stem cells and thereby augment or drive the repair of the tissues and organs. They are embry of embryonic origin, like all our cells. This is how we all start, and uh, we find them in an adult organism in uh, 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 many different tissues. Traditionally, these cells have been derived from bone marrow aspirates, and the derivation is rather easy because uh, they have, among other features, they have a feature to attach to the substrate, so they have this kind of like culture adherence, as we say, so that among many, many, many cells that are present in uh, bone marrow aspirate, you can specifically isolate the mesenchymal stem cells. And because they have ability to be propagated, to, be, to grow in culture, then you can grow very large numbers of cells, literally billions of cells, from one single sample of bone marrow aspirate. And uh, more recently, we turned also into other sources that are a little bit easier to harvest, for example, fat or adipose aspirates. And it's very interesting that actually you obtain uh, cells of mesenchymal type that have many common features with bone marrow derived cells, but also they have some specificity. They are uh, slightly different with expression to their markers and they are different uh, with respect to the factors that you need to apply to drive them into specific lineages. For example, if you want to make cartilage from bone marrow derived mesenchymal cells and from fat derived cells, you will use different types of factors. Uh, besides that, there are um, um, uh, uh, muscle, blood, uh, there were reports that actually mesenchymal type cells were also uh, discovered in heart, in liver, in pretty much all tissues in our body, but the frequency of these cells is really the highest in adipose and bone marrow aspirates, and this is our usual source of these cells for research and therapy. Uh, we know for sure that actually uh, mesenchymal stem cells that you can isolate from, say, bone marrow or fat aspirates or muscle are capable of regenerating quite a few tissues. And it is certain that they can make good quality bone, they can make cartilage, they can make ligaments, they can make various types of muscle, and maybe possibly also striated muscle and uh, neural cells. They uh, can uh, help repair the heart, but this is more through indirect methods because these cells are uh, inducing and supporting revascularization. So the lack of vascular supply can help repair the heart. So this is what mesenchymal stem cells have uh, been shown to do. And they will also be shown to have a multiple trophic and other effects cell protective effects so that they can also recruit the cells from the host to come into the repair site and drive the repair. However, the uh, evidence that these cells are themselves turning into new cardiac muscle, building new cardiac muscle, is not really convincing. And the community is turning towards other cell types, embryonic type cells, iPS cells, uh, to uh, grow cardiac muscle either in vitro or in vivo. Uh, 
I think we will have available well-defined cells. Uh, we obviously, for all these therapies, we need cells that are phenotypically stable, that are very well characterized. The cells that we can drive in a predictable way towards specific lineages and outcomes. So I think this will definitely be the case. We can also think of uh, uh, mesenchymal stem cells being derived from different tissues because the question is how much of the specificity of these cells is due to their geography, to their tissue of origin. Maybe muscle-derived mesenchymal stem cells are a better candidate for repairing muscle than bone marrow-derived cells or vice versa. And how will iPS cells play a role in, in, in this sense? Because you can also start from a piece of tissue, derive iPS cells, and then make mesenchymal cells. And this is pretty much the scenario that people are using today to derive different types of, uh, of um, uh, lineage-specific cells. So this is one outcome. The other outcome is that I think there will be applications in some of the areas showing initial promise. So perhaps repair of bone, uh, skin, ligaments, um, continued effort to repair heart by revascularizing. So I think this may be some applications that may come into the picture. Uh, new uh, materials for the delivery of these cells, the simpler the better, obviously. So if we can think of uh, delivery routes that are very FDA friendly, you know, that, can, that are safe and efficient and they can be approved. The routes of delivery that can uh, assure that you know where the cells are, they're not dispersing through the whole body, that the cells are conditioned and put into a favorable environment to do their job. Um, I think we will also see a more uh, effective monitoring of the cell outcomes because functional imaging is becoming a huge area these days. You would like to see things as they happen rather than going back into the patient and taking biopsy. So functional markers, markers that tell you uh, 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 predictably uh, uh, some kind of correlation, clinical outcome versus cell well-being. I think these are some of the outcomes. And I think all this will probably happen largely to the increased, uh, increasingly efficient and collegial interaction between stem cell scientists, tissue engineers, clinicians. It started to happen five, six, seven years ago, and I think we are now in a much better shape to do truly interdisciplinary research and to exchange our methods and experiences between the communities instead of being locked, you know, within your own area and your own field of view and your own methods that you, that you already have developed. At Celgene Cellular Therapeutics, our proprietary placenta-derived stem cells hold the potential to treat a range of serious diseases. Our unique processes for differentiating and producing treatments from this rich source of stem cells will enable us to deliver these therapies on a scale similar to today's biologic remedies. Proud to be at the forefront of this transformation of modern medicine, we are Celgene Cellular Therapeutics.